All right, we should be live. Yeah, we are live. Okay. So um, we're going to give this Terminator game a, uh, a whirl. Uh, I think I got it down. I may mess things up. That's normal. We're going to do the best I can uh, with it and have some fun with it. Um, I tried to get the best camera angles. The components are decent, okay? Um, they're not the best in the world. Um, we have everything painted up. These are like this for a reason, and I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, I'm going to do my best to explain as we go so you guys understand what's happening. Um, we're going to be playing with two characters today, uh, Kyle Reese and the Guardian, who is Arnold. They're going to go to their setup position. I'm sorry about the glare here. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, Monster X 150, how are you? And Tim, how are you? Uh, we are going to do the best we can with this, and I'm going to show you how to play this. Um, we are doing the very first scenario, and I'm going to come back here. Um, there's a whole narrative here. I'll explain it to you. Um, uh, I'm not going to read the gathering of supplies. What we're playing is the gathering of supplies, and uh, have the player who is Alex. Oh, well, we're not playing with Alex today. Um, we decided to go with Kyle and... Um, and the Guardian, because they used to be pals at one time, I guess. Uh, so basically what we're going to be doing is, I'll, I'll read this, what the heck. Uh, or choose, choose, a, choose a player to read introduction. It all comes down to the next few hours. John Connor fixed each of us with his dark eyes, making sure we all took his words to heart. Everything we fought for, bled for, and died for is on the line. Everyone who gave whatever they could including themselves now it's time to make sure those sacrifices weren't in vain it all comes down to the colorado team and us and then just as quick as he grinned no pressure huh that's john fearless determined leader one moment yet somehow able to set soldiers at ease in the next the three of us smiled back kyle grinned grin faded as quickly as it appeared the guardian the first reprogrammed t 800 we took from skynet smiled too a creepy grin stretched across its face like death's head damn thing gave me the creeps always had the mood lightened in the back for the journey uh, for the johnson cargo truck but only a little for john was right the next few hours would determine whether the resistance lives and skynet dies after judgment day the remains of humanity were left scratching out a bare existence in the steel, mud, bone of, a, of the nuked world. We almost didn't make it until John rose up and brought us, brought us to, with him. He showed us that it wasn't over, that as long as even one of us still drew breath, we could fight the machines. That's exactly what we've done for I don't know how many years now. And John had, has been there at every step along the way. It's not that we would follow him into hell. We're already living there. But his unstoppable spirit had often been the reason we still fight today. And now we're on the brink of doing what many thought was impossible. The resistance was on a mission to stamp out Skynet once for all. That's not our mission, however. Today, John is leading us somewhere else. A remote work camp where the machines take captured humans to work until they die there's something important about the camp john knows what it is but he kept it to himself it must be something big though to take us all the way out into new hot desert instead of back backing up the colorado team but first we're making a stop along the way unlike the machines unlike the t 800 riding with us humans need food and weapons we need clothes and, and shelter the indian indoendos can come at us all day and all night 24 7 we need supplies to live we need supplies to fight scavenging is the second thing people learn out here killing the machines is first the truck stops at what looks like the remains of a military base gunmetal gray steel bunkers pitted and scoured from decades of harsh weather, rise from the ground, sand dunes, taller than me, are piled up near the main entrance. 
John sent the Guardian to scout ahead. With shrieks of protesting metal, the blast doors were wrenched open. Weapons at ready, we we cautiously entered. Okay, the objectives of this this one is Steph, how are you? Dutch, how are you? My zombie lake, how are you? Another year of the alpha. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, three objectives must be completed in order. Locate and pick up all three supply waypoint tokens. Two, all characters are in the truck. Are are in the truck. Enter from enter from either the half hexes marks of the white arrows. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, got it. Uh, campaign reward: all characters keep weapons and equipment and gain a new class card. So that's that's pretty key. So there you go. So we would get a class card key finally, which is something I'll explain. Uh, then there's a bunch of things that happen when we find these waypoints. So we're just going to put this over here because we have to read from this and it's going to determine what we find and what we get. So it's going to be kind of interesting how this all plays out. Uh, like I said, here's our two characters. We roll dice, okay, and then place them. If we want to move, say we rolled a four, we would put it in the move section and move our character four. If we wanted to move again, well, yeah, sure. We could put another four there and move up to eight. Um, we're going to use certain dice for our weapon to fire. You can always use a one, but if you get used certain numbers, they are going to affect how the weapon goes. We have uh, certain equipment that can help us. Uh, leftover dice, uh, of course. Uh, this action space copies an attack action space on one of your equipment. Okay, so we can place things uh, here as well that we have special abilities that can fall on hand. And the same thing for our good friend here. Um, the attack dice are these here. Whoa, hey, come back here. Every one of the, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Every one of these that we hit will hit a Terminator. If we get one of these, it acts like a defense dice. But when the Terminator rolls or, or uh, whatever machines are attacking us, this is going to be considered a hit uh, against us. There's fists that are going to activate certain things. Uh, that we can, if we rolled this, we would add one to our, our our result. And all it's going to take is one hit to kill the machines, but they do have some special abilities. Let's take a look at some of the people that we're going to be facing today. Today we're going to be fighting the T-800. Uh, he has a thing that if we rolled this when we were attacking him, he has Relentless, which means he would move one space uh, closer to and and. Uh, to an adjacent character, or his closest uh, a character, and they would suffer one wound. They have a range of six, a move of four, a defense of three, so that means we, that we would have to um, fire over a certain amount, and they attack with um, oh, three dice. So uh, there you go. Also, we are going to be dealing with the HK-8 drone. Okay, uh, They have a defense of two. They move eight. They have a range of two and an attack of two. And uh, the enemy ignores yellow obstacles, so they can move right over obstacles. Let's go down to the table and take a look and see what's going on over there. Well, as you can see, we're going to be starting right here. And we have to work our way to these objectives. Because these objectives are basically supplies or other surprises that we don't know about. As you can see, they have question marks. We need to try to get three of those that have supplies, which are really going to help us out. Um, let's see. Hey, David, how are you? Uh, okay, so just, all right. So everything kind of, we, we really got, we've got five tokens out there. We've got to get to them quickly. Um, these here, these yellow areas here, these are considered a uh, cover, and they have numbers in them. If you go into there, if you get hit and so, uh, um, a machine is firing at you, well, guess what? It's going to absorb it first and then blow it up, and then you're going to be there out in the open. So that helps. If we, ha we have a phase where we're going to roll to see if there's any, any creatures coming in. As you can see, there's, well, you can't see here, there's a 5. Over there's a 1. And over here is a 3. If we roll those... Like there, one and three, 
each would get a monster or well, uh, a machine and start pursuing us not a good roll right there we've got to do a little bit better than that so i think that pretty much explains everything to a degree um we have a chance to get special cards and other things in supply crates and stuff and we're going to do our best to get those so hopefully we can um we have rules for the supply crates and stuff like that but i'll explain that stuff as we go all right let's head over to well let's just put our guys out we're going to put the guardian here who is the blue player and john uh, kyle reese is going to be the red player so uh these are assigned in a certain way these are the blue player i didn't put the red players on because i finished the bases and these things really don't go on that well so i did get them on some so we're just going to assume the ones without is the red whenever they roll they're going to pull from their whoever's turn it is pool and once it's killed it goes back to the end of the line everything just kind of shuffles forward so there you go all right i think i explained it all why don't we get going with this and uh let's let's have some fun because after all that's all i do is have fun all right we're gonna move that over there um also we have equipment cards that if we we have a chance of getting some equipment um and we have some weapons that we can add to our weapons as long as we can carry it out all right so let's go decision phase is the first phase choose an unactive ready player and take a turn and that's exactly what we're going to do um so basically i'm going to choose uh, let's go with the guard well yeah let's go with kyle reese because he's the closest so we're going to roll our die oh here we go and i'll put them here we got a five a three a two and a two not a great roll but there's nothing out there right now so i'm not too worried about it so um basically what i think i'm going to do is i want to get right up up into that that first containment zone so i'm going to use a five and then i'm going to use a three so that's going to give me a movement of eight so let's get moving one two three four five six seven eight all right uh interact there's nothing to interact with <coughs> um and then these two day dice pretty much get wasted for the time being but here's the funny thing now we're going to after we did the player face we rolled all four of the action dice assign them using actions the uh, c reverse okay here's our actions that you could possibly take you can move you can attack we don't have anything to attack we can interact we can rest where we can uh, rule or we can use a special um and that's our attack but uh, that's not going to help us much here. So we're going to just keep on going. Actually, the attack. Let me just check one thing. Again, first time playing, we want to make sure special. Okay, that's a sign. Yeah, you would just assign it a die. All right. Um, hmm. When defending, ignore one. Which one call it? Okay, great. Wanted to make sure. When attacking. Okay, so the guardian defends. And he attacks perfect. So uh, basically, we moved. Let me show you where we moved to. Hey, Charlie, how you doing? We mo we moved from here up into here, and that's pretty good for now. So now we're going to roll and see if anybody comes out. So hopefully nobody comes out for Kyle, and we get a five and a three. Awesome. So <laughs> so right here, uh, right there is one and then a terminator over here so already they heard us moving about and they are going to move about so we rolled uh, this is the enemy phase so we rolled for enemy uh reinforcements enemies move so the t800 has a movement of four and they can move just about through anything so he's going to go one two three four and um uh well no actually he would go one two three four because he wants to go through this doorway and uh 
come over there and he's going to go one two three four and here he comes from that side he's going to attack he has a range of six one two three four five six nope i uh, can't shoot around the corners nope no line of sight so that misses activate bosses we don't have any recover any stunned enemies nope and the round after all players turn well nope we don't have to worry about that because we still have one more character to go um yeah, because it goes me. Player, uh, the player turn rolls their four dice and assigns them the actions. Okay, yeah, because now it's his turn. So hopefully he doesn't have a bunch of guys going. So the way we want to do this, well, let's see what's, what's going to happen here. Hopefully something good, that's for sure. Plasma ri rifle their faces. There you go, my zombie link. Um... Well, he's heading up there, so we want to make sure. Okay, so we're going to go back, and now it's the Guardian's turn. So let's see how this turns out for him. Um, this ha this weapon has a range of four, so if we can get close enough, maybe we can take him out. Let's see. Uh, okay, so we have a five, a three, a two, and a one. Wow, that's really not that impressive. Um, boy, we would only get one shot at him, too. Attack up to two adjacent enemies if we want to uh, roll three attack dice and apply the result to both. Hmm. Um, all right, let's see. If I put eight there, let's see what it would do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and he has a range of four. One, two, three, four. No, you're going to be short. Um, wow, this... This is not cool. All right, well, I'm going to apply the eight here, and then let's go take a look at what we can do. Uh, pretty much one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He can go into that. It costs two to go into this, so we're going to go into that, and that's going to give us cover. Uh, I got a bad feeling. That's for doggone sure. Uh, at the start of your turn, discard this card. Each time you attack this turn, add plus one to the results of your roll. So these two are going to be nothing. They're not going to help us at all. Um, oh boy. Interact. Open blast doors, huh? Okay. So pretty much that's where we're going to go. Okay, so now we are going to go to uh, the monster phase. Let's hope we don't have a couple more guys come out because, boy, that'll really stink. And we got, well, we did get one to come out, which, you know, I got to stop rolling so well for the bad guys. And he's going to come out here. And it's he's going to move. So he's going to move one, two, three, four. And then he is going to uh, basically can't fire. He's going to head a different way. Uh, that's the end of the monster turn. Now it is the end of the round. After all players have taken their turn, refresh uh, activation tokens. Um, oh, uh, also, I want to show you guys something real quick here on these cards here. Uh, we have this thing. This is actually a reroll. And what's really neat about this, and uh, let's just move our dice out of the way here. So I can show you some is if you're playing with all four characters, it can get pretty confusing. So um, say you do everything with Kyle Reese here. Well, you just turn this over and basically you have a thing that says done. So now you can move on to your next guy. I really like that. Uh, I like anything that helps you kind of stay focused here. All right. So now it is decision time. Choose an unactivated. Well, boy, do we go with the big guy first? Or do we go with Kyle and hopefully he can he can pepper that one dude there? Uh boy, he has um, he has a plasma assault rifle. It has a range of six. It gets three dice. Uh, we can shoot twice with it, so we could put a dice on here each time. But if we use a five or six on it, you may reroll one result. So let's see what we get here with our dice, and then we'll go down and check it out. It's almost like Tina was there rolling for your monsters. Well, yeah, that's who she is. Uh, oh, okay. All right. 
Now this might be good because this might help us in what I'm hoping to do here. So if I use seven, he'll be able to go one, two, three, four. Well, you can move attack. I think you can move and attack and then move again. I just want to make sure we don't want to tell you the wrong thing and then completely screw up the game. You go by the game and go, oh, this game sucks. Move. Okay. Uh, well, no, it doesn't matter because you're assigning a die. You do it one at a time. So let's move four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. We have a range. So we're going to put that right here. So I'm going to show you where we move to. Might help if you see, right? Soul Razor, hi, he says. Well, I'm saying hi right back at you, brother. Okay, so we used uh, a four there. Um, and we got one, two, three, four. So we have a range of four. So what we're going to do now is we are going to take um, the five. Okay, and we're going to put it here. Now, because I put the five there, it says you may re-roll one result, which might help us out. Let's see if it does. All right, so we're gonna we get to attack with the plasma rifle, three attacks. The T. The T eight hundred has a three defense. All right, hopefully we can get something good here. All right, this isn't bad. That's why we put the five on there. Okay, why did we put the five on there? So we can reroll one result. Okay. So we're going to re-roll one result. And I'll tell you why. Because this here would cancel out one thing. Now, this would do two damage, but that's not enough. I need to re-roll this so this doesn't cancel out any of those results. So I'm going to re-roll it. Hopefully, we get another hit. And we do. Perfect. The fist helps us, when attacking, add plus one to the result. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six... Boom! We just killed him, and he goes back in the back of the line there. Great. That's exactly what we needed. All right? So let's go back over here. And now... So now uh, that we use that, we still have some movement here. Now, interacting with... Um, I just got to make sure... Uh, a waypoint. Reveal waypoint upon entering the zone. Okay, we can move right into that zone because we're going to use another movement die. Okay. And what we're going to do is go one and two, and then we're going to turn this over. So what happens? This is Delta D. So I'm going to read to you what Delta D says. All right, we're off to a pretty good start here. All right. Choose a player to read the following. Oh, I just did. Spotting a room la labeled Armory, we made a quick detour, hoping it might still contain a cache of weapons. We were partly right. Inside was a half a dozen of crates of MK2s, tough plasma rifles that could melt an Edo's face clear off. We all swapped our battered guns for new ones. The faint whine of the activated power packs Music to our ears. Kyle was especially pleased at finding a prestige, a pristine new weapon. I don't think I'd ever seen him smile like that before. See, Kyle, it, it just happens to be Kyle. Discard the waypoint token and draw a weapon card. All right, so we just went through one of these, and there's still some of these things left. So we 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 got to get moving here. So I'm gonna discard that, and we're gonna draw a weapon card. All right, and let's see what the weapon card says. All right, you gotta, you gotta bear with me. All right, well, we got a sniper rifle. This can come really, really in handy. Oh, hold on, let me make sure that it's focused. All right, um, it says this weapon attacks deal an extra wound. On a five or six, each one of your fists adds a a hit result in addition to trigger triggering abilities you do not pay additional movement points to move through obstacles mm, really now so 
So that's one of my powers. All right. Well, let me see how that how you activate that. Hold on. Just want to check something here. Okay, so Delta turned out to be we still we have four crates left and three of them are our objective. Oh boy, so we we really got to try to figure out what we need to do here. We still do have one thing here, but um pretty much that's about all we can do with Kyle, but we did get a sniper rifle so that's not a bad thing uh and we're not in that zone where we can get uh an extra thing so hold on i just want to check the reference cards here i want to make sure i got everything right okay six all right there are three sets of character abilities represented unique things each character can do some modified adapt uh, attack dice results with the fist others have passive effects and some are additional action spaces uh, as you play from the campaign characters earn more abilities oh okay okay there we go perfect all right I was doing it right I want to make sure I'm very happy so far so good so it as you can see this doesn't seem like too hard of a game okay um, I'm trying to find what I what I did with my uh <laughs> oh there it is <laughs> So as you can see, I think you got a feel for this in the first, just just the first couple of turns so far and how easy this is, but how complicated it could be and how much fun it is. Uh, Nefaria says, I hope you started this off by saying, come with me if you want to game. No, I did not. I did not do that. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, hold on. I'm going to take a sip here. A little Gatorade. All right. Let's go back down to the game. Let's get going here. All right. So now we did everything. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we did everything we could with Kyle. We're going to turn this over. And that is done, as you can see. So now we're going to move to the Guardian. Well, let's see where the Guardian is and what we need to do. Well, we got these two guys coming here. And plus, we need to get through here and go up that way to try to... Oh, hold on wait we did not roll for any more guys coming out that's an interesting point we did not before we even do the guardians turn we need to do our enemy phase and sure enough uh-oh this just got ugly because i just rolled two fives yes sir that's not good so wow so these two drones are going to come out as well not cool at all so we're in a bit of a predicament here. You can move through your things. So those drones move eight. Wow. This is going to be tough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This guy can see. But what does he have as far as... Oh, and we have to move the other guys, too. They're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So things aren't looking very good on this end. Uh, let's see what the range is. These guys have a range of two, and the other guys have a range of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. He has a chance to hit the Guardian. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, or five, six. He's short. So um, we're going to roll for that. Oh, boy. Not a good start. So now three attack dice. <clears throat> and hopefully we roll nothing good for the T-800, who is firing on our friend here. All right, one hit. These are two our misses. Uh, so one hit would do one damage to the two good thing we went in here it would do two uh, uh it does the damage to the rubble one more damage and that would take uh, care of the rubble nobody else goes we still come out of that uh pretty good but the guardian definitely needs some help and we've got to figure out what we're going to do here Oh boy. Okay, so we do have a special ability here that we can maybe get out of this cheap. 
All right, so here's the way we're going to do things. Uh, that plasma shotgun has a range of four. All right, let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. This is not good. I keep on rolling just garbage. All right, well, let's roll. Let's see what we can get here. All right. So this might help us out just a bit. It might get us out of trouble. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to move three. So he's going to move one, two, three. All right. So let me show you where I moved. So we moved from here to here. Now, on our card, we have a special ability that we're going to use. Well, first of all, we're going to... We're going to... Yeah, yeah, that's the way we're going to do it. We're going to attack with our regular weapon. We're going to roll four dice, and we're going to attack... I'm going to show you guys. Sorry. It's a little hard doing this uh, one-handed because I have the... Okay, why don't I do that? That that works a little bit better. All right. All right, so uh, I'm going to attack from here to here. Uh, I'm going to get four dice. Where are the four dice? Okay, so uh, they have a defense of three. We need to take that guy out. Oh, canceled all our attacks. So nothing happened there. Not good. All right. But all is not lost. All is not lost. Because we have an ability here. And we could just place this die here. And it says, attack up to two adjacent enemies. Roll three attack dice and apply the result to both. So this might might help us. Let's see what let's see what happens here. Uh, we're gonna roll three attack dice. I'm gonna roll them over here so you guys can see them a little bit better. Oh, perfect, perfect. So it's one, two, three. Plus he has a fist. When defending, ignore one result. Okay, so oh that doesn't help us though. Oh no, if you if you tie it at least. So if you tie his defense. Oh, let me make sure. Do, do, do. Oh, boy. Do we have anything that will re-roll that? No, I don't think so. I think we're in a lot of trouble here. <laughs> oh, Nelly. Let me just make sure something here. Uh, enemy attacks. Uh, so four, do, 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 do. so we shot him up, and, okay, enemy phase, no, we don't care about the enemy phase, we just care about our phase, hitting somebody, and I believe, because that did not help us, boy, if it was the other guy, we were in great shape, we were in great shape, so both those guys are going to survive, I think. Wow, that's awful. Awful, awful, awful. Okay, resistance. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Count as normal. Okay, check, range, roll attack dice. Equal to attack rating of the weapon. After rolling dice, apply other abilities, class cards, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I can use my rank and re-roll one die. Yes, I can. So we're going to use our rank, because I think this is really important that we do this, and I'm going to re-roll this one here. We really need something better here. Oh! Or do I get to roll? Nope, that still wouldn't be enough. That's three. Uh, let me check. Do, do I get to roll all the dice? Uh, attack. Token to re-roll. Okay, so I can re-roll all the dice. So we're going to count this one, and then I, I get to roll these two. I would, Yeah, I definitely need a re-roll here. So we need something really good here. And we got it. All right, so that's four. Okay, so there you have a defensive three. All you have to do is one over, and, any, and because of this ability, attack up to two adjacent enemies. Roll three attack dice and apply the results to both. 
These two are next to each other. These two are gone. Uh, one goes back here and one goes back there. All right, so that just leaves that. All right. Now, what we're going to do, we are going to, we have one more die, and that's a move die. And if you notice, I left the biggest number, which is a five. And I'm going to apply that to our move because we're getting out of dodge. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and pray that we can survive it. Meanwhile, that ends his turn, so he's going to be done. Now it's the enemy's turn. So what does that mean? Well, yeah, you guessed it. I'm going to roll it here so you guys can see it better. And I'm going to roll the attacks here, too, so you guys can see. Uh, a four and a three. So that means, because um, he's blue, that is going to come here, which is not going to be good for Reese. Because he moves eight. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he can attack two. Oh, he just comes up short. Or uh, his range is two. Holy cow, not cool. So our Terminator, uh, the Terminators are just bringing the heat. We've got to somehow get through this some way, somehow. Fortunately, nothing else came out, which was good. And uh, that means everybody went. They went. Um, yeah. Did I do that right? Or did I double roll that? Oh, I did double roll it. Hmm. I think I double rolled because we were working out the... Oh, no, no. We were fig figuring out his turn. So, enemies... Yeah, we roll. And now the uh, the enemies move. So, now they're going to move again. So, he came out. We rolled for reinforcements. Now the enemies move. Because they move every turn. Not cool at all. So, these guys came out. So, now they get to go again. They have a movement of eight. <laughs> One... Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's right on him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's not in range of him, but he's going to fire on him. Oh boy. So now the drone gets two attacks. So, okay, let me show you what happened here. So basically, these drones came around the corner. All right, so we got them here. One is in range, and then this one here is over here, uh, and he could not fire. So now we're going to fire with that particular uh, unit. Sorry, I'm, I got just got to get the camera thing down. All right, so now they're going to get two attacks with two uh, two rolls here. Keep all our dice together. Where's the other dice? Oh, there it is. All right, let's see what happens here. Um, oh, it's two hits. Two hits. Ouch. Um, does he have a defense value? No. Hmm. So our friend here is going to... Oh, no, no. These are two misses. They need these to hit. Whoops. They need skulls, so it was two misses. Woof. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out, oh, great, what are we going to do now? This, this game is going to be over quick. No, they completely miss. It turned out all right. Now we reset everything, and everything comes back over here. This stuff comes back over here. <sighs> the question is, who do we want to go first? Hmm. Do we let Kyle go first? And try to get up in that right hand corner? We could do that. Yeah, I guess so. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna well let's take a look at this. Let's take a look. Alright, we can start with Kyle here and hopefully plow the road and get into that corner and get that that piece or at least get over to this one here that's what we're hoping to do 
So we need to shoot, get rid of that, and then move. On your turn, discard this card to remove all action dice from one weapon and re-roll them. You may use these dice again this turn. Ooh, that's a nice one. Boy, he's more of an attacking guy, and our defensive guy is over here. So we're really kind of in a pickle here. But that's okay. We're all right. We're all right. We're okay. Um, maybe we go with the defensive guy first and try to get him to just get those two guys out of there. And hopefully that's enough for him to start moving elsewhere. Uh, all right. Let's do that. All right. And then we'll save Kyle for last. All right. Because he's our more offensive guy. So we're going to use the Guardian first, okay? And let's see how that w works out. All right. All right. Nice. We got a six. So I'm going to take the six and I'm going to put it right here. That means we we, we ignore. And let, let me just show this and bring it up. So we're going to get four dice on one of those units. And uh, because of it, we're going to ignore one skull uh, result if I roll it, which is good. All right. Because then I can use the second attack because he's within range. Because it's within four. One, two, three. Yes. All right. And I can use that and just roll three dice and hopefully beat him. So we're going to fire on, on, on um, this particular unit here. And then we'll fire on this one next and then try to move and get that counter. All right, let's see if we can do it. All right, so we're going to roll all four of these dice. We're going to ignore one of the skulls that we roll. Doesn't matter. We hit, and we hit viciously. So we rolled four. That uh, All we needed, uh, their defense is two. So that's even better. So that's going to take care of um, this particular unit here. And uh, that is going to go back here. So we're going to move all these guys up a bit. And they go back in order the way... As you can see, they just keep coming and coming. <laughs> all right. Excellent. So now the next thing that we're going to do, we are going to fire... We're going to use our special ability here. And we are going to fire on this here. So we're going to take one of our dice and we are going to put it here. That leaves us enough movement to do what we have to do. Um, we have to pay. We have to move, and pay an interactive cost. Because we want. No, I don't think we have to interact with the uh, reveal waypoint. Okay, yeah, it's a token. Uh, the only things that we interact with. I think we still have to pay the interact cost. Yeah, but we still be able to use the movement. Okay, so anyways, let's let's do one thing first. We are going to use the one here to, to run our uh, special ability. We are going to roll. We need we need four on three. Di no, we need three on two dice. Can we get it? We got three on two dice, but here's the problem. Oh no, we got. Oh, when defending. Shoot. No, that wasn't enough. So. We are in a bit of a pickle here. Because that other is going to come at us. We did... Oh, no, we did three. Oh, no, but that, that's going to ignore that. And they have a two defense. And they're going to absorb that. Uh, and I already used my reroll. Uh, all right. There's nothing I can do. It's complete... Oh, wait a minute. At the start of your turn... No. Nope. Discard this card each time you attack. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't do that. Um, boy, there's just nothing here. That's all right. We're going to figure through this. We're going to get through this somehow. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to use a move die. We're going to move four. One, two. We're going to turn this over. Hopefully it's something not bad. It's A. So we got A. So let me show you where we are. Uh, we got A. So that's two. Uh, and we still have two movement. Let's read what A says now that we discovered that after we fired. 
All right, have the player who is playing Kyle Reese, or choose another one, read the following. The base looked like it had seen hard fighting. Plasma burns scorched the walls. Heaviest near the entry points, clusters of bones lay among the bits of metal uh, of melted metal from dusted machines. Whoever had defended this place, they made Skynet pay dearly for in taking it. Could be there wasn't anything left inside, but opportunity was too good to pass up. It also didn't mean the place was empty either. Everyone had their fingers on the triggers as we headed deeper in. This waypoint token represents supplies to be gathered. Flip enemy entrance al alpha over to heavy side. Oh no, which one's alpha? Oh, that's the one way up there. Well, that's not cool because now that's going to give them some more ways to come in. Oh, it's one, two. That things could come in. Wow, not cool. All right, so we had we got two more movement. One, two. Then we're going to use another movement, which is going to be six, and it's going to be one, two, three, because it costs that to go in there. Four, five, six. So we're headed over there. We we need to get that that result now. What happens next? Well, I'm going to show you what happens next. Man, we are we are in it to win it, but boy, we got ourselves a headache here. Um, now we're going to roll our two dice here, okay? So it's the enemy phase. We're going to roll for reinforcements. So hopefully we get lucky and nothing comes out. Six and a one. That's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, because it's the blue guy, say hello to the blue guy. That's going to come here. So he's going to go... Uh, he comes in here, actually. One, two, three. Oh, let me uh, switch cameras. So he's going to go one, two, three, four. And he has a range of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. Yeah, you could shoot through the rubble, I believe. No, you can't shoot through the rubble. Because the rubble would absorb it, so he wouldn't shoot. Uh, now, this guy here is going to move. I wonder if he comes around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He would go here. He has a range of two. He just barely misses him. They ignore um, any yellow things because they're flying, of course. So there we go. Perfect. All right. Are we still live here? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, wow. That's a tough result. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? This is not easy all we need to do is get the supplies and, su and and survive this so uh yeah so he actually finished his turn he's more defensive guy this is the guy that we really got to count on and uh let's hopefully he can pave the way here and maybe get us out of trouble here all right we got wow we've got two sixes the sixes means we can re-roll one result. This action... Oops. This action space copies an action, uh, attack action space on one of your equipped weapons. Ooh. See, this gives us a range of 12. So this could really be good. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We've got a range of six we're going to fire into here. Hopefully we can take this guy out. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to roll three attack dice because he only has... Uh, we're going to roll three attack dice here. We're not going to move. We're going to attack right off the, off the bat. 
So let's see what happens here. Let me move these dice out of the way. We still have this in our pool. So we're going to, uh, and he has a reroll. So this could be a, a, you know, a real critical thing here if we do it correctly. All right, let's get that machine out. Oh. Well, we're gonna burn our reroll. That was not good. Those two skulls were not good. Uh, we definitely, we definitely need to reroll all that. That is not cool. All right, let's. Hopefully, this is a little bit better. Come on. Oh, same damn thing. So he misses on that one. Not cool. Uh. I'll tell you what, we're going to do it again. We're going to attack. And I'll tell you why. Because, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, I've got an idea. So, I'm going to re-roll these, all three, because I burned my re-roll. Because I really want to help out here. All right. Fist plus one when attacking. Oh. It's another disastrous result. Hmm. All right. Well, I was hoping for better. It just didn't happen. So now what am I going to do? I'm telling you what I'm going to do. This would actually cancel out one of these. So there, that fist would, when attacking, add plus one to the result. So it actually would be two but they have two. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this action space copies an act, attack action space on one of your equipped weapon cards. Hmm. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to discard this card. Is that gate a one or two? It's a two. Or is it a roll of one or two? No, it is a two. That gate is a two. It's a defense of two. All right, so I'm gonna discard this card. And what it does on your turn, discard this card to remove all action dice from one weapon and re-roll them. You may use these dice again this turn. Boom, so I'm going to take that off my weapon. I'm going to re-roll these two. And I got a six and a four which is perfect because now I may re-roll one result. So I'm gonna put that here, perfect. I'm going to roll three dice again. Hopefully we get something decent, perfect. Re-roll this one, let's hope not for a skull. And now we get four. So that is actually going to finally kill this drone, perfect. This drone goes in the back here we move all these up now here's what we're going to do <sighs> do I want to go there we can go one two three four five six or we can go one two three four five six okay so I'm going to go here for six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. My sniper uh, rifle has a range. So we use six there. My sniper rifle has a range of five to 12. This weapon attacks deals one extra wound. So all we have to do is just hit. So it's, it's going to cost us we're going to use this die here. We're going to put it here. We're going to roll four dice. And we are going to try to take out that Terminator to give him a little bit of a breathing room. That's what we, we hope to do, at least. So, I'm going to roll all four. Hopefully, something good happens. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no matter what happens here... That is going to take this dice out, but we still have four because 
he gets one extra attack plus he gets if you get a fist and then uh, an extra one that's five so actually that was another great shot by kyle 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 is nasty here so he's going to take him out and that's going to go back in our line here now we still have a movement here a movement die of six so this could be key right here because if we can find what we're looking for do i go to the one by the entrance and get mauled or do i i i i, I gotta play it safe unfortunately i hope i'm right one two three four and that's c so let's see what uh c gives us so let me show you where we went i decided to go over here and uh, that gave us uh, control point C. So let's read from the manual and see what C does. Okay. Incredibly, we found a room on the sub level, on sub level three, that still had power, drawing on nuclear generators far below the surface. There, we found charged plasma weapons, packs, and seals, fuel drums. We could use for the truck if it wasn't a crate of tea rations it wasn't a, a crate of tea rations but it would definitely get us closer to achieving our mission as we begun lugging the supplies outside the whine of an approaching hk8 drone made us all duck for cover it has located us the t800 said after it was gone reinforcements will be here soon the waypoint token represents supplies to be gathered. Flip the enemy entrance Charlie over to the heavy side. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. One, two, three, four. Boy, we're going to have to fight our way through this one. This is not going to be good. So now we are going to come back and it is the enemy's turn. Um, and hopefully, and hopefully that token does not have what we're looking for or, i mean what we're looking for or else things are really going to get bad so all right let's move these guys out of the way all right and we are going to roll enemy phase uh three and four and sure enough right there <laughs> right, right where we didn't want it to go here they come great all right, so he gets to move eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he's within two. So let's let's negotiate that first. He's going to roll two dice. All right, he is going to roll two dice. And let's see what he does. Uh, the H, HK8 rolls, yeah, attack two. He has a range of two and oh he hits for one he hits for one so kyle is going to actually take a damage there's nothing really i can do about that Ugh. and then um let's go back and move our terminator who's going to move four oops that's there one two three four and he's out of range uh over here He's going to move eight. He's going to move right up on him. One, two. And then he's going to fire on on the big guy. He's going to roll two dice. Let's see how that turns out. Boy, this is getting ugly. So, oh, but he rolls two misses. So that's perfect. So we, we ended up okay out of that. So everything got played out. Uh, Kyle Reese was done. He took a damage. There's nothing we can do about that. Oh boy, it's about to get busy. So I say, well, let's clear all our dice. Let's make everything nice and neat here. Maybe if we could find that last token right there, we can win this game and get out of here. But uh, knowing our luck, it's over there. But Kyle's pretty tough. I think Kyle can, can uh, help himself in his own way. I wonder if we go with Kyle first. And try to clear clear the way. All right, we're gonna reset everybody here. Or do we go with the T100? I mean, do we go with the Guardian? All right, I'm gonna let you guys decide. Do we do we move him first, or do we do Kyle first?
It's an interesting proposition. I think, to be honest with you, we go with the Guardian first to see what happens. A Fallen Dominion Studios, our good friends, how are you? Uh, if you get a chance, watch this back. This is a really, really good, solid, solid, solid game. And it's a lot of fun. Uh, that's for sure. Things are getting nasty. I like the narrative. I like how this plays out. Components can be just a hair better. But you know, want to know something? When something's this this much fun, I'm not worried about it. I'm enjoying myself in that. That's all you can ever ask for a game. Uh, when you get stick, you know, when you get all snotty pants about uh, components and they're not being the, the greatest things in the world, then you're just being a big baby sometimes. Guardian first. Yeah, I agree with you, Tim. Well, let's go with the Guardian first. All right, so we're going to go with the Guardian first. Let's go down. All right. I can have fun with a ball of rocks. That's the way I see it. All right, so he's ready. We really need a decent roll here. And what we're going to do at the start of our turn, we're going to discard this card. Each time you attack this turn, add plus one to the results of your roll. We need it. Because we need to we need to plow the road here. All right, all right, there we go. This is a pretty decent roll. Um, boy, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this here, and that's gonna ignore one result. Uh, we just we're, we're we're gonna attack. Yeah, that's that's about all we can do. So um, he gets four dice. Yes, to kill that guy. All right, I think I might have wasted that, but what am I going to do? All four hit. All right, perfect. That clears the road. That gets him out of there. And he's going to go back over there. Now we need to get, we just need, we need basically to move. And hopefully, hopefully that could be the one thing that we're looking for. Uh, we're going to move five here. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, and there we go. And it is E. E. So let's see what happens here. All right. The mission has been a success so far. We found priceless supplies that would be vital in our continuing fight. Although time was burning, grabbing everything we could was too important. We haul our precious store outside and hurry to the truck when John points at a huge dust cloud on the horizon, heading straight for us. They're coming. This waypoint represents the supplies to be gathered. Flip enter, enemy entrance to echo, but we have all three. All we needed to do was grab all three, and there we go. Uh, hold on. Three gathering supplies. Three of the waypoint tokens represent important supplies are not obstacles when in an adjacent hex to one of these interact using three, four, or five. Uh, place the waypoint token above your character board. You are now carrying supplies. Oh, all right. Well, I, I, I did something wrong here. So let me, let me clear something up. We were supposed to use a certain die to pick that up, but I could pay for it here. Um... And that would be an interact. The other times I had extra dice to interact, so I would have been all right to, to pick those things up. So even though I, I, I screwed up a rule a little bit, this would have flipped over. <laughs> and then it, it would have been one, two, three, four, five, six. So every turn something was coming out. Not cool. Um, and we have the scars to groove that we had fun for. Fun, fun with a bag of rocks. You're sure right. Um, yeah, so I did do one thing right. I did get the last one correctly. Um, the other two, I know I had dice over that were enough to pay for it. The the waypoint, I think there was just one I didn't. But we we were able to do it. So I'm sorry I messed that up. But, hey, we all I didn't read the top here. But we all we had to do was get all three of those supplies. And now we got out of Dodge. We saved... We saved uh, Kyle from getting mauled. I think personally, I think he would have just rolled right through. Now we would get uh, class cards, and and class cards uh, help you and and you build your character and build your whole thing. Um, wow, I like this a real lot. I think this is, 
I think this is about as good of a game as I played in a while. Um, I love the narrative. I love how you have to read after each objective that there's some kind of story behind it. Um, the, my, the only thing, I, I got a couple of warped boards. I mean, really, come on. Uh, this company, River River Horse, uh, nice job. Nice job, guys. Well done. I like the models. They're not... Listen, they're giving you something that you can afford with a ton of replayability. And I have to, you know, sometimes you have to, you know, you can't, you can't make every game $200. People can't afford it. And... I'm really looking forward. Uh, there's another expansion that should be coming out soon within the next month or two. Uh, the Fall of Skynet, which I'm really anxious to see how it fits together with this because I'll be honest with you, I really, really enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun. This is the type of game I like. I like the dice placement. I like the battles, you know, the decisions that you make, how you can level up your character. You could play a campaign or you can play just a straight out skirmish which is kind of cool. So it's really up to you how you want to play this. And everything's all condensed, comes in the box, painted real well. So, you know, we took this from opening the box, showing you what was in the box, painting the game, explaining the game a bit, and then playing the game. And uh, uh, besides a couple of hiccups, um, you know, I think I think we hit it just right. I, I, you know, easy to learn, smart, clear, concise i like it a lot and i hope you guys enjoyed it as well this was a lot of fun for me and and i really enjoyed this so what do we do next well we move on to our next project what's that going to be Ooh, who knows whatever the wind blows uh, we still have harry potter to do we still have dawn of the peacemakers we have the new mage knight ultimate edition um we got We've got so many things to do, and that's the beauty of it. It's just having to pick. It's just whatever you feel like playing, right? Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This took us, what, an hour and eight minutes. That's not bad. We played the first scenario in an hour and eight minutes. Now, it probably would have went another ten minutes, if anything. But I really think this was, was, was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, besides the, the little hiccup, I had rule book, concise, Gives you a nice page on the back. I can't talk in, uh, highly enough about this. I, I, I really can't. And, um, you know, this might make it onto one of my, my, I have, um, uh, Monday come, um, no, Tuesday, uh, January 1st, we're going to be looking back at all the games that, um, we're going to pick the top two things. What were the top two favorite games? What were the games that came in late in the year that I liked? So I'm going to pick two games. This might be there, you know, top two Euro games, top two, and just put, you know, for each category, uh, two picks of mine. So how many missions are in here? Let's, let's just take a look. You've got seven missions and a campaign. And we didn't even fight any of the bosses in this one. There's bosses in this, which just make this really, really nasty. Nasty. It comes with... Uh, seven, fun for solo. Yeah, Steph, fun for solo, no doubt. Um, yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there, there's bosses. There's seven missions in the campaign. Uh, you, again, you can play it skirmish however you want to play it. You can do one-offs. It's up to you. I, I really enjoyed this. I hope you did too. All right, I've said it all. We've done it all. We had a great time. Tim, thanks for moderating. Guys, so good to see all of you. My zombie li lick, the Fallen <laughs> Dominion Studios, who are fantastic. Uh, staff, uh, everybody that showed up today. Charlie, of course. You know, it's always good to have Charlie in here. I hope he enjoyed that because he was curious about it. Soul Razor, uh, David, all of you. Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, we even got a thumbs down, which is just, just, just makes it even that much better because I like getting those. So, guys, thanks so much. This was a lot of fun, and we had a, a, a real blast at it. Hit that thumbs up and give us a little love. And if, you, if you're coming in late, definitely check out the beginning, and, and it explains everything. And I think you're going to see that you, what you got here is a really, really nice system. And that's 
what it is uh, the boards as you can see everything just flows beautifully and then you have this beautiful card system that you're going to be keeping troll one thing that you guys didn't get to see if you had an extra dice at the end of your turn you could put it on rest which means that would uh well uh, in this pres uh, predicament you would be able to take away one wound which is really really cool really neat stuff guys i had a great time thanks for watching this and we'll see